All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, it's good to see this man back inside the octagon. Round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he won his last fight by blistering knockout. His popularity has absolutely soared since. So with momentum tonight, he'll try to keep the winning streak and the knockout streak still intact. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it it's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Back and forth we go! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. He engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just misses there with the left. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Now he's okay. Now he's gonna escape. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction. We're losing this one, man. We are losing this one. We've got to win this next round. You ready? You ready? Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well placed with the kick. Some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a... Oh! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh! He's out! It's over! It's over! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, Exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a seminal moment. The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Rubing has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number two.
<laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm going to have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. So after a long run through the middleweight ranks, here he is making the walk to the octagon for his first championship fight at 185 pounds. And this man hasn't just worked his way up the rankings. He has taken on all comers, and more often than not, he has taken out the opposition. So with the win streak in tow, now the challenges get bigger, and of course, none bigger than the incumbent, the UFC middleweight champion. We'll see how his style matches up tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway.
All right, ready to go with round one. Shades of Vitor Belfort circa 2013 for this young man. He's won his last three fights, all of them by vicious knockout. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish. Cannot take too many holes. Back to the feet. <laughs> looking to land the right hand. He misses. Unable to connect there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, Whitaker closes the distance here, DC. Let's see if he can capitalize. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice loop of punch. a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt him to pull it very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh. He's giving him so many different things right now. Whoa. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Whoa. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there is the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world. All right, so we got a new UFC middleweight champion, and this is a title that no one can ever take away from you. He's got a UFC belt at his home for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life. And they say it takes a village to build a champion. Yeah. If you look behind him, celebrating with his coaches, you know that they have all been on this journey for a long time to the UFC championship. Congratulations to him and his team.